into c vector which means that it is important to specify which cross multiplication is to be performed first by expanding the vectors a b and c in the component form it can be shown that a vector cross b cross c vector is actually equal to b vector dot a dot c minus c a dot b all right which is sometimes called back cab rule so if you generally see the physical interpretation of the scalar triple product you can see that it actually forms a parallelopiped and we can uh, draw it like this is certain vector c there is certain vector b and let's just form if this is b this is c let's just form first the plane formed by these two vectors all right and let's see now or let's say there is the vector a we will give height to each side individually okay so let's just join them you can see clearly this actually forms a parallelopiped all right and here this will be showing the direction of b cross c because it is perpendicular to the plane containing b and c okay uh, let's do a question in which you are asked to determine the direction of a cross b cross c fine all right so this is very interesting uh, uh let me just dictate then i will make you understand how does it work so the vector representing the triple product on this left hand side of the expression is actually perpendicular to a and lies in the plane formed by b and c so basically this is certain the vector quantity obtained since b cross c will result in a vector and then this vector will be multiplied with a and you will get again the cross product of the two vectors and then the resultant vector will be perpendicular to a and will be lying in the plane formed by b and c so for this simple understanding let's just do this is certain vector a sorry this is certain vector b since we are supposed to perform the b uh, cross product of b and c first so let's say here is uh, let me just uh, be more specific this is the plane formed by b and c i hope it is visible now okay the resultant is actually perpendicular to this plane fine uh, of the cross product of this vector b and the vector c and this is actually the plane that i have formed with these markers now this is actually the resultant vector of b and c let's say now your vector a is lying something like that and now the plane that is being formed is actually this this side okay so these vectors are forming the plane now if you multiply the resultant of b and c with the vector a then the resultant will be perpendicular to the plane formed by this vector a and the unit vector of the cross product of b and c and you know that this is always perpendicular to the plane so you will get the vector again if you drag it down you will get this resultant vector will be perpendicular to a and it will be lying if you drag it parallelly down you will get the vector that is lying in the plane formed by b and c similarly from this you can say that 
if you are supposed to determine the direction of a cross b cross c then the resultant will be perpendicular to this vector c and it will be lying in the plane formed by a and b so this was all about the vector analysis thank you for watching